This episode is made possible by the support we get from Fort Collins Kia. If you are in the market for any electric Kia, not only do they never add market adjustments, they will deliver your car to you anywhere in the 48 contiguous states for out-of-spec viewers. More information in the link in this episode's description. Hello and welcome back to the Out of Spec Podcast. Electric vehicle charging cable theft is on the rise. As we're noticing that electric vehicle infrastructure, stations and networks are expanding, the amount of them are increasing, we're also noticing an increase in the theft of these charging cables, yes. People are going to electric vehicle chargers, they're cutting off the cables, stripping them of the copper metal inside, and then selling them to third parties like scrap yards. This is a huge inconvenience for electric vehicle owners who need a place to charge, who want to DC fast charge when they're on the road, and for the electric vehicle operators, electric vehicle station operators, who have to then replace the cable on the station. And then there's a loss of revenue because the station is out of order for the days or weeks even that the station is out of order because they need to get a new cable. And I'll first bring up a tweet from Kyle who actually recently went on a journey around Colorado checking out every single uh, electric vehicle charging station in Colorado and noticed multiple stations with cut cables because this is a real world thing. It was an issue last year in Seattle. Uh, people were stealing the cables. Now this is where ChargePoint has come in with two solutions to solving this issue. First with cut resistant charging cables, also with software that will be installed on all, that can be installed on all pre-existing charge point stations. So let's first talk about the software charge point protect. So this is a new anti-theft alarm system that is integrated into existing charging station components, right? There are speakers, the screens, and the lights that current charge point stations have. It'll just be utilizing this to, uh, have an alarm system that would help trigger uh, if there is tampering going on, which you know would also kind of alarm people who are maybe trying to cut the cable and kind of spook them. It will also detect if something's being tampered to then alert the operator, and then it gives the operator the chance to contact law enforcement to make sure that no one is trying to vandalize or tamper or cut the cables on their charger. Um, and this is available as a cloud-based software upgrade. So just over the air, this is capable on all current charge point stations and chargers where operators can download it and it immediately would put the system on your charge point charger. And we're going to see this live by the end of the month, which is amazing. Then we also have cut resistant charging cables. These cables are designed with advanced anti-cut resistant materials to deter theft and vandalism while still maintaining flexibility, right, for in usability for EV drivers. So I'm not sure if you've ever been to a DC fast charger with very thick charging cables, and it feels like you're trying to hog tie an alligator. I mean, the cables sometimes can be very heavy and, and very hard to move around. And so you want to make sure that the charging cables are easy to use for all drivers. Think your grandmother is driving and wants to plug in her EV, right? It has to be easy for, for an older person, for someone who isn't as strong. And it also has to be somewhat cut resistant to make sure that vandals aren't you know, doing anything like this. And so ChargePoint plans to roll out these cables, these cut resistant cables, while they're not entirely cut proof, they just increase the difficulty Difficulty of tampering with it, right? That increases the time that it'll take to cut it. And again, with the charge point software that detects if there is tampering, this would alert the operator and then it gives more time for law enforcement to come in and stop this from happening. And ChargePoint plans to roll these cables out across its entire fleet. The Mercedes-Benz charging stations, those are ChargePoint chargers. And so this is something where these can be implemented. And ChargePoint is also looking to selectively license the technology to other providers. So um, Alpatronic, Anchor, Think Electrify America, EVgo, Tesla, if they want to 
license these cables from ChargePoint and implement them into their, you know, stations, they're able to do that with the ChargePoint technology. So ChargePoint isn't just trying to keep it all to themselves. I mean, this is a, a public issue and this not only affects ChargePoint, this affects all charging providers. Now let's read right into the article that ChargePoint has provided. ChargePoint leads fight against industry-wide EV charger cable theft with anti-vandalism solutions. ChargePoint, a leading provider of network charging solutions for electric vehicles today, announced two innovative new solutions to combat charger vandalism, featuring a new cut-resistant charging cable and ChargePoint Protect, an alarm system designed to increase charging station security. First, ChargePoint announces the charger's industry first cut-resistant charging cable, specifically designed to deter cable theft. ChargePoint leveraged its more than 15-year history of product innovation and charger design expertise to address the critical industry-wide customer satisfaction issue related to charging cable theft and vandalism. ChargePoint's cut-resistant charging cables deter theft and vandalism due to novel cut-resistant materials built into the cable designed to make the cable substantially more difficult for would-be vandals to cut while remaining flexibility in and ease of use for drivers to comfortably maneuver while in use. ChargePoint intends to make its cut resistant cables available for all its commercial and fleet charging stations, as well as to selectively license the cable design to other charging station manufacturers as part of an industry leading effort to combat cable theft and vandalism. ChargePoint believes the customers and partners that elect to use its cut resistant cable design can make any charging station more resistant to tampering and therefore more dependable for all EV drivers. ChargePoint expects its cut resistant cables to be available for license by the middle of 2025. Now, I want to bring up this tweet again for those watching, right? These chargers that Kyle noticed here in Colorado by 7-Eleven, these are ChargePoint chargers. And so, right, ChargePoint is being directly affected by this. They made these chargers. And while the operator and these chargers are owned by 7-Eleven, it is still uh, an issue for ChargePoint. And it becomes uh, an issue for you know, 7-Eleven or an operator, they have to buy another cable. And it, it only helps these operators, right, to want to buy more stations if they know that their investment is going to be protected. And so this is just another security feature, a measure that can be appealing to buyers who want to, right, charging station buyers who want to protect their investment. Um, and right, going back to ChargePoint's article, in addition, ChargePoint also announces the launch of ChargePoint Protect, a charger alarm system aimed at further increasing charging station security. ChargePoint uh, Protect integrates a ChargePoint charger's existing speakers, screens, and lighting system to create a highly effective alarm system. ChargePoint Protect is capable of detecting charging cable tampering in real time and automatically engaging the alarm system with the aim of deterring vandals. ChargePoint Protect can be activated on select charging station models at no additional cost to existing ChargePoint customers through a cloud-based software system. ChargePoint Protect permits ChargePoint customers to receive SMS or email notifications in the event the alarm system... ChargePoint Protect permits ChargePoint customers to receive SMS or email notifications in the event the system's alarm is triggered, accelerating the timing for the station owners to be alerted or the deployment of law enforcement responses. ChargePoint expects ChargePoint Protect to be available beginning this month. Now, here's the thing with just receiving SMS or email notifications. I would love if it, if it was rather... Uh, phone notifications. I mean, often these are happening at night, right? These, these thefts of charging cables are happening in the middle of the night, one, two, 3 a.m., where no one's around, likely no one's awake. And an email notification or text message isn't likely going to do the job of alerting me for what to do. Now, it would be great if you know, this system would automatically send notifications to local law enforcement for them to take care of it. And then, right, you would just get SMS or, or email. But if it's relying on you to call law enforcement yourself, I think it would be great if it just called you, wakes you up and says, hey, something's going at the charger. You got to make sure, right, that this isn't happening. And we want to make sure that your chargers are protected. 
Furthermore, ChargePoint Protect and our cut-resistant cables demonstrate a relentless dedication to offering a dependable charging network. We do not view ourselves as victims of vandalism, but rather responsible for solving it, not only for our customers, but for the industry, said the CEO of ChargePoint, Rick Wilmer. We are sharing the technology to combat vandalism in the most aggressive way possible with the aim to eliminate charger reliability as a hindrance to EV adoption. Now, uh, we've talked about this before on the Out of Spec podcast, and some of the comments were really funny to me. It seems like you guys would would rather just, you know, it to electrocute the person <laughs> who's trying to cut the cables. And honestly, yeah, uh, I totally get it. It's it's ridiculous that people would go these um, these lengths to 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 steal. I mean, people will steal anything nowadays, um, but it's just ridiculous. And it's not easy to do. Well, while all you need really is like an angle grinder, right? Just power tools to cut these cables off. And after doing a little more research, these people aren't getting even more than $50 per cable for the amount of copper that's in these charging cables. Now it does add up, right? $50 a cable, you, you know, you steal 10 cables, that's $500. Um, but in most cases, right, $50 is, is really the most that you'd be getting for the amount of copper that is inside of these cables. I'm curious to see what other EVSE charging manufacturers will do and how they will respond. Tesla, Rivian, Alpatronic, Anchor, EVgo, Simons, ABB, all of these manufacturers for chargers who understand that this is an asset that you have to protect. And I wonder what their measures will be. Uh, it'd be great to see them respond fairly soon, uh, saying that they're implementing some of these strategies as well. And we know how Tesla really likes to to do their own thing. And so I'm curious to see what Tesla has in store for charging cable theft, because it is something that affects them as well. I've, I've seen it myself, actually, at Tesla Superchargers. I've seen cut cables. Um, and so, look, this affects everyone. I'm curious to see how this changes the industry. I'm glad ChargePoint is standardizing something and something that they're implementing as early as today. But look, that is all we have today to talk about ChargePoint's cut resistant cables. Again, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I'd, I'd love to see what other solutions that you guys have. But ChargePoint is covering the software front with ChargePoint Protect and then their cut resistant cables. Thank you guys so much for watching. Our friend Tom from State of Charge actually has an interview with the CEO of ChargePoint, Rick Wilmer. I'll have that linked in the description as well. My name is Isaiah. This is the Out of Spec Podcast, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Go back, go back, go back.